Welcome back. Well, 150 years ago today, President Abraham Lincoln delivered one of the most famous speeches in American history, the Gettysburg Address. He gave it four and a half months after the Union Army's victory at the Battle of Gettysburg. It took Lincoln about two minutes to describe the principles of America while honoring fallen soldiers here in Gettysburg. And to mark this day, we asked some of our special friends here on Fox and Friends to help deliver and recreate Lincoln's most famous speech. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We've come to dedicate a portion of that field. As a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have so far advanced so nobly. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us. That from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which we gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. And the government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. Wow. Uh, very well said. And they were pieced together through all the interviews and afterwards everyone read uh, a little piece of the Gettysburg Address. Look who's here. <laughs> Hello, John Fox. Rich, how Hello are you? Fox and Friends. <laughs> how are y'all doing? Hey, John. What were your thoughts when you started watching the, uh, listening to the Gettysburg Address again? Uh, you know, it's possible. you know it's very patriotic. Well, I guy. mean, you know, to be able to encapsulate everything that makes our country great in that short burst of words, uh, I don't know anything more brilliant has ever been said right. uh, behind the podium ever. In, in less than two, two, yeah, in less in than two, two tweets, right? In less than two minutes, in less than two tweets, which would be accepted 140 characters out yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, you can say the Pledge of Allegiance in 10 seconds. You know, I mean, there, there's just a few pieces, uh, I think, of patriotic things that have been said over the years, and that is, I don't know how you ever top that. Right, although we did a story last week <laughs> about how one uh, high school was asked by some of the kids there, hey, could we say the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> no, there's really not enough time. Yeah, you know, I saw since that. We don't have time. We don't have the 10 seconds a day. I nah, know. That's... You know. I wasn't a big fan of that yeah. story, but, yeah. but uh, you know, I, my, I have a two-year-old and a almost four-year-old son, and, and uh, we, we have the flag right in the front yard, and it goes up and it goes down. And, you know, to me, that, that's part of what going to school was all about, was sure. doing the Pledge of Allegiance, and uh, you just did it because of what it meant, because you got to go to school in a free country, and that's, that's why you got to go to school in a free country. Remembering the sacrifice. <clears throat> yeah, but, you know, I guess people can do whatever they want. It's free country. You can say it, not say it. I like to say it. Yeah, we raise our kids the same way, they all said. Isaiah, when he, my youngest, when he heard there wasn't time, he said, there's time, and he, he started saying it right away. <laughs> there's not time to do homework. That's what there's not <laughs> right, time Right, exactly. Yeah, Long <laughs> division is getting us right, all. Right, no, no. Uh, tell us about your special that's coming up. It's Rich for... at night. Nice. Who doesn't want to come to that party? Please, that's fantastic. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's a show that's actually shot out of my house in Nashville. That's and, a big uh, house. It's a crazy joint, yeah. That's yeah. a stadium. People said, man, I can't believe you got a bar in your house. I said, oh, no, cousin, I have a house in my bar. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, basically, we just open up the house, and fans come in, and family and friends, and everybody just kind of loads into the house, and we have a show. It's kind of like if, if Dean Martin had been a, a, a wild cowboy redneck singer, <laughs> that would have been his show. Oh, and it's called Rich at Night. TVGN, it's but, cool. But don't you have a special on the holidays? Christmas? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the first uh, first episode is a, is a holiday special, so it'll be kind of Thanksgiving, Christmassy, and it's, it's going to those roll. holidays. Yeah, oh, it's so both together. So that's the kickoff for it. The holiday, the yeah. Thanksgiving, Christmas kind of kicks off the whole thing. It's November yeah. 25th, 8 p.m. November 25th at 8 p.m. on, on TVGN, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, fine. we had uh, Big Kenny on uh, a couple weeks How ago. How did that you were, go? You were due. <laughs> it went well. You it saw good. it. 
Yeah. He's the happiest guy around. No, I watched it. It was great. Yeah, uh, Big Kenny, the Universal Minister of Love. Very good. Yes. That is true. <laughs> well, you're the backup minister of love. I appreciate it. All right. Thank All right. You. Congratulations on the special Thanks, and sir. on that house. Appreciate We're it. We're just waiting for our invite. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Wait, is it a bar with a house or a house with a bar? I think it's a bar with a house. There you go. <laughs> Either way. John Either Rich, way. thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, John.